good morning party people I checked my schedule today I don't see no way that I'm gonna make it home this month so I have a full schedule I had a notebook pad I listed all the people I'm supposed to meet what state they're in stuff like that I don't see it I don't see that I'm going to make it to Albuquerque by the end of the month no big deal we just going to take it one day at a time so I have a couple of people send messages uh, which is great staying in touch I am still committed to visiting everybody that I communicated with and said that I will visit if they got their parts planning on coming back this way next April so if you want some help don't have your parts you could get them and contact me in March and we could schedule you for next spring it's just where I'm at had a pretty good day yesterday I helped Peter with uh, some stuff on his V70 some deterred maintenance stuff like that had a good time met his lovely wife they had to run off to a wedding and uh, so I just finished up you know finished up what I had locked her place up called it a day today I got to run to New Jersey kind of backtracking a little bit but that guy he hit me up before I left New York it's kind of in the middle so I'm gonna run help him with some stuff today and tomorrow I'm headed to Elizabethtown PA then I'm going down into Maryland and then into Virginia then into North Carolina then into Georgia so that's what the schedule looks like I appreciate everybody watching and staying in touch I look forward to seeing everybody on the schedule soon welcome to hanging out with Robert that's me this video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day for step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks you can click on the link in the comment section below I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Back at this P1800. Let me get this thing out of here, see if it's got any oil in it at all. If I could drain some oil out, I'll check that oil for metal particles. So, let me get my transmission jack out here, set it down and check it out I'm going to assume that's the drain bolt down here this bolt here is the service bolt and uh, oh, it's got some oil in it oil coming out it ain't bone dry so let me get that back in there some oil came out when I pulled the bolt put some fluid in it until it level and level with the bolt looks like I put not too much in it uh, you see the line on the bottle I'm gonna tighten this back up put this transmission in get this thing rolling so we can get his car back hopefully it'll drive fine try to see how the splines are lined up in this clutch so that I can try to line the transmission splines up like that slide this thing in here so let me go do my thing and see what it, it takes to get it in. First shot wasn't really any good. So I'm going for a second shot here. Do do do. One up, slowly down. Should be perfect right there. Next I'm going to pull this bolt out right here, 13 millimeter so that I can pull this arm assembly out and change this throw out bearing. Broke it loose, wasn't that tight. Pulled the bolt out, hit a washer on it, slide this arm a little bit toward that opening where that boot is missing pull off the bearing so I'm gonna take the other one slide it on there put those teeth back in there and press on like I said I think there's a seal back behind here somewhere leaking but 
we're not going to be replacing that. I can see the shaft went in the hole. We had the transmission on the ground. We lift the front of the bell housing up, slid the jack under it, jacked it up as best I could to get the tip of it started in the hole. Now I got a scissor jack back here. I jacked up the back of the transmission to try to get it on a level. So now I'm going to try to push the transmission in. I don't know if the splines are lined up, but hopefully they are and it'll slide in. Don't know if I'll be able to move that around at all uh, to get that to slide in. So we're going to try that for four or five minutes. If it don't slide in, I'll back it up, twist it a little bit, try it again. I had the scissor jack too high. When I, look, when I looked up front, it wasn't nowhere near level. Wouldn't slide in. So I pulled the scissor jack down. So I got the scissor jack where the transmission was almost level and then it slid in quite a bit. So now I'm gonna try to get it to pull in so that I can line up the guide pins and then I'm gonna put the bolts in there. So that's my next thing, lining up, lining up the guide pins. Grease for the shaft. I was handed that after it was in place, so that ain't happening. I did put some silicone brake lube grease up there, though. So, I got that level, got it in a little bit. Was having a hard time getting the guide pin lined up on the bell housing. So, I put the jack back under that part, removed the main support jack, and was able to twist it to get it lined up, put a couple bolts in the bottom, it pulled it in. So now I'm gonna put the bolts in around the top, tighten those up, pull that in, and hook up the cable. Got a little space up here, so I'm gonna jack up the back of the transmission to close this gap. Put bolts in it. Started this bolt in the bell housing up here on the driver's side. Got it about three or four turns and boom, bell housing popped in. So we're going to go ahead and tighten all the rest up and get this ground wire on this lower one on the passenger side. Hook up the speedometer cable, put the support bracket bolts in and keep it moving. Ground wire goes in that bolt right there. We're going to tighten these two up, put the starter in then hook up the cable. Got the drive shaft done. The drive shaft bolts are off. So it could either go one of two ways. It can't go four ways, front and back. Got the cable hooked up. Getting ready to put the shifter in there, tighten that down. And we should be ready to shift gears. So got the starter in place. Bolts all the way through that. We are cooking with grease and we're all done with the clutch job he's putting the shifter in he's gonna fire it up run it through the gears make sure everything works and I'm gonna wrap it up and go pull the cylinder head I think somebody installed this grill backwards the owner spent all his warranty time trying to get the car started messing with the fuel pump he parked it here a couple days ago changed the fuel pump now it won't start put the old pump in fire right up pulling this head off this engine for Gregory going to rebuild it redo the valve stem seals this thing should be smoke free PCV also got the head off about 35 minutes if you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.